Hey friends, it's Friday and that means we're back today with a new video. Today's video is a major transformation. Make sure to hit that like button and compliment Jenna on her new hair. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos. This is Jenna and I've known her for several years. We met during a production of Thoroughly Modern Millie years ago and became fast friends. If Jenna calls me for a stage job, I will absolutely be there because I love working with her. Jenna wears two rows of natural beaded rose extensions. She's getting all new hair today, so this old hair is going to be taken out and used for color experimentation. Secondary hair often takes color a little differently than natural hair, so I like to use the old hair to try new formulas. Here, I'm taking out Jenna's old NBR. I love this method because the removal takes approximately five minutes and it's super gentle. I personally am really tender headed and when I wore other extension methods, the removal was often really painful for me. NBR comes out quickly and easily with no damage to the natural hair. Jenna has been wearing red hair for a few years now and requested a different look today. We're going to keep her color a warm, bronze flavor. I'm being extremely gentle with her lightener and color formulas because her hair is very fine and very fragile. We've been preparing her hair for this color transformation for about six months now with Olaplex treatments and deposit-only, non-oxidative, acidic hair color. I'm using Olaplex throughout the entire process today to keep her hair in great shape. I've got a whole video about Olaplex coming up, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. One of my favorite parts about natural beaded rose extensions is the ability and encouragement to customize the secondary hair color. Isla hair for natural beaded rose artists is the best hair I've worked with, and it comes pre-rooted and toned, which takes a lot of work out of coloring it. However, I still like to customize the color so that the end result is completely seamless. The color can make or break the extension experience. Unblended color is a dead giveaway for extensions. And I don't know about you, but most of my extension guests don't flaunt the fact that they're wearing extra hair. And being sure that that color blend is perfect is really going to improve the wearing experience. As usual, I'm checking the foils here to be sure that the desired lightness has been achieved before rinsing and cleansing with the Unite 7 Seconds Cleansing System. I want a balance of moisture and protein for Jenna's hair, and this shampoo is great for that. There's a reason they say that you'll fall in love with it in 7 seconds. I've been doing Jenna's hair for about seven years, and it has always been extremely fine, and she has a very low density. I tried everything I could think of, Olaplex treatments, Nioxin, other medicated systems, and ceasing all chemical services. I even sent her to the doctor to be sure that nothing was wrong internally. When nothing worked, we decided it was time for secondary hair. At that time, I was working with tape and extensions, and Jenna wore those for about a year. I kept noticing, though, that hair would come out with the tapes at every move up, and she would often lose several extension pieces between appointments. She would come in with a bag of six to seven pieces that had just come out with brushing or in the shower. 
and that became a major concern for me. She didn't have much hair to work with, and now her hair was being broken off by these extensions that were supposed to be helping her. She had trouble hiding the tabs in her fine hair, and she wasn't able to put her hair up in a ponytail, which made work really difficult. And I don't know about you, but if I was paying several hundred dollars for extensions, I would like them to actually stay in my hair. I decided it was time to shift. I went to California and I learned how to do natural beaded rose extensions. And I'm so, so glad that I found this method. Jenna has been wearing natural beaded rose for about three years now. And with this method, Jenna's not losing extra hair. Her hair has actually grown in the back significantly, and she's able to wear ponytails, pigtails, braids, and more without strain on her natural hair, and her rows are invisible. Her hair is completely transformed, and her confidence is through the roof. Thanks again for taking the time today to watch Jenna's amazing hair transformation. If you struggle with fine or thinning hair, or if you've lost hair after having a baby or after having COVID, or you just want longer or more full hair, be sure to click the link in the description below to apply for your own NBR and Couture Color experience now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment about what you'd like to see from me in upcoming videos. Thank you so much, friends. See you next week.